Alrighty, we've just arrived in Tom Price to um, get our access permit for the Rio Tinto Road to drive up to Caratha. Just a display here. Um, you can get water down here and just emptied the, the dump point again, all that rubbish and everything else. Good to go. But when you take those mine roads, look at that, oh, especially this side, we are filthy, 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 look at that red, got to get her all off, disgusting. It's just so red, look at that, that was actually black, look at that, oh my goodness. Get that red so we can now do the van in a bit more detail. Gotta love him. Oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All 
Alrighty, this is Hearson's Cove. So we're going to come back here a bit later tonight and see if we can catch the staircase to the moon, a natural phenom phenomenon that occurs when the moon is rising over the bay, probably somewhere over there. And then with the tidal flats, the, I don't know, the reflection across the water is supposed to be pretty epic. So let's go and see if we try and get that shot today. It'd be very nice. Wanderer is part of it. Um, let's go get some more information about it. It's a statue of um, Red Dog, often referred to as the Pilbara Wanderer. You've probably all seen the movie about Red Dog, actually was filmed over here, made two motion um, movies, one also one called Blue Dog, I think as well, Red Dog and Blue Dog, um, born in 1971. And apparently he was just a stray and someone, a bus driver, brought him in and he got tragically killed not long after. And this dog was travelling up and down the, that red dog highway that we went looking for his owner, like 400 kilometres away, up and down. And in the meantime, he befriended a few other people who took him in and he went from person to person and jumped in from car to car and bus rides and all sorts of things. Um, apparently he then got poisoned by eating bait um, when he was about eight years old. Pretty sad. Good story if you haven't seen um, the movie. Red Dog. A little bit more of little Red Dog's travels. He's actually up here at the lookout here. Um, we're trying to track some of the places that he went to. But as you can see out there in the distance, that's actually all salt, dampier salt, that gets exported all over the world. This is the second largest export port in the world. Reading here about the Dampier Salt, didn't realise that that was also owned by Rio Tinto. The first lot left in 1972 and the operation has a capacity of sending out 4.2 million tonnes of salt per year. That is insane. Rio Tinto, I think you're a little bit greedy. Not only that, they do all the iron ore stuff as well. And that's just another story in itself of how much they send out there. That's crazy. Actually also telling us that this area, not only does it export salt, um, iron ore, but also all the natural gas. It's a bit windy. Um, especially to Japan. Wow. For their Yawata Iron and Steel Company later become Nippon Steel. Very interesting. And the gas. Aboriginal ground to actually have a look at some Aboriginal rock art and apparently these are the oldest piles of what do they call them again? Fleetoborites or something? Oh, I didn't say that very well. Anyway in the world maybe and there's some really old rock art so we're going to go find some let's do it Ah, they're called petroglyphs found the word. I couldn't quite say it. Anyway, there's another one. Really up here. A few around here. Alrighty, now we're going to look for a, a grinding stone. Here it is, the grinding stone. That's the grinding stone. Wow. Interesting. Alrighty, we're going to pass through all this beautiful spinifex. This spinifex. Alrighty, there is a quoll. Interesting. Archaeologists think it's been touched up over time. But they think it's older than it actually looks. Pretty amazing how all these actual rock formations, they're just sitting there. It looks like they've been dumped, but. There's just piles and piles and piles of all this around the dampier. Oh, right here, this is a, apparently a goanna. Alrighty, there's a thylacine, teddy devil, really, all of us. And I think over here to the right is a, a kangaroo. And over here in the distance, there's actually another fat tail.
the uh, staircase to the moon. Cossack. This is one of the old buildings. It's old, um, historic little place actually from all the pearling industry and gold mining. But by the 1950s, it actually was totally abandoned. Um, yeah, the pearling industry all, I guess, died off. Not sure when. No, well, that must have been around that time. They used to dye for the pearls and use them for buttons. This was actually a general store. Once you get those little zebra finches coming out for a splash and a drink. Is the bakehouse from what was it 1890? 1890. 1890. Another nice heritage building over there. Baker's oven, which supplies fresh bread. What's that? Fresh bread. Your jam. With peanut butter. Getting overtaken by a train carriage. How cool is this? How cool is this? We have our coffees down here. I think our toilet. Alright. Looks quite cool, hey? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get down here and grab our coffee. I can't even see the end of it. <laughs> I don't 
think I'm going to film all of it because it'll um, just use it be boring actually. to Marble Bar, the hottest place in Australia. Let's go check it out, hey? Eh? Alright, Gracie's in his element. This is my uh, place I wanted to come to. It is. Happy days. I made it. Alright, leave the hotel. Let's go. Here we are at the iconic Ironclad Hotel in Marble Bar. How cool is this little place, hey? Just had a little game of table tennis. Graham slaughtered me again. Not good. Anyway, we're having John a nice cider. Crazy and um, <laughs> that's it. It's really good. We are at Marble Bar, and this is what they say: our summer is hot, our winter is warm, and water is precious. Check that little view from here. We actually drove up to the water tank view. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's a gold mining little mine not far from here, and actually not that long ago, they someone some German people got a 6.5 kilo nugget the millennium nugget they called it we and the end result with some peas and some carrots this one actually has some fruit chutney in it and some garlic so it's got the goods let's get on it a little chipper there you go nicole a little chipper i'm always thinking of you hope you do of this um, jasper. It was mistaken for marble back in the 1800s. But um, yeah, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Look at that. It's beautiful. Where are we going here? Oh, it enhances it all. Okay. Well, I'll just try this little patch here, eh? building here, the police station, information building. Looks like it might have been a hospital one day. Been, Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Chinaman's pool in Marble Bar. Pretty dry. Cattle hanging around here as well. Becky. Jasper. 
Jasper. Yes, this is Jasper. It all looks like um, marble. We're going to chuck some water on in a minute and check out some of the colours, but yeah. Quite pretty doing the odd water thing. Oh, nice. oh yeah. yeah, it's nice and bright. Marbly. <laughs> marvelous. Yeah, it is marvelous. Yeah. Beautiful. It's just so smooth too. Hey. a really cool 24-hour rest stop. Must be what 40 vans here or something. Yeah, it's pretty busy. It's actually all separated like a campground. Yeah. Over here is a river but you can't actually get to it because of all the weeds. But, the barbed wire fences. The barbed wire fences. But we're way over there. We've arrived at our little posse. We're just here. Got a tree over there. So that's not too bad for a 24-hour one. Quite a few vans here so you actually feel nice and safe. Drop toilets and a couple of dump points. All you need actually a lot of um, bird life. We've seen some zebra finches, some corellas, and wild cockatiels. And this is our home for tonight. Not a bad little posse. I'll watch the sunset over there. 80 mile caravan park. Bizarre, yeah. isn't it? Like it is bizarre. Yeah. Dirt road through yeah. gates and fences. And... Yeah. and then to the left of us is Wallow Downs, Wallow Downs Station. Right. Yeah, I didn't know we we're going to be seeing dirt road. Get to nice water. This is a tease. Look at this. Oh my god, box and box. Box of jellyfish. Wow, really? All right, the audiometry uh, nurses meet up at uh, 80 Mile. Crazy. Hey, hey Tracy. I'm not blind so fast. <laughs> It is ridiculous. This beach apparently is 80 miles long. Look at this water. Oh, it is so warm. <gasps> but you can't swim because of the croc. So we're being a bit hyper vigilant. And um, that'll do donkey. Just turned up at 80 mile beach. Every time we think the color of water gets better, it just keeps getting better. Probably can't really pick it up on the video, but it's actually beautiful. A number plate. <laughs> uh, look at this. Oh. That's cool. Uh, over to another road stop, roadhouse to get some fuel. Check out all those cruddy old hats. <laughs> These roadhouses are pretty cool. Yes, we're on our way to Broome. Get some inspo, hey, for a home. <laughs> uh, cool, eh? Alright, get these over the gate here. Into Barn Hill Station. Here we go. Mm -hmm. right, into the gate, on the way to Barn Hill. So I was getting attacked by wasps. Killer wasps, you wouldn't know. Just arrived at Barn Hill. Oh, Dalmatian. Aren't you gorgeous? Hey? 
Let's go check out what this is all about, eh? Here, mm -hmm. upstairs actually. Oh, who's that? up to Barnhill Station. We're in an unpowered side and if we go up over here at the beach, let's go check it out. Dressing the rock formation. Pretty specky. What is this evening? Look at this. Catch me a fish, crazy. Roger. <laughs> Roger, Roger that. Watching the sun go down. Specky area actually. Look at that. So nice. As the sun goes down, Graham's still fishing. No bites for us, but gorgeous sunset. <gasps> this night nice sky. Look how red that is. Stunning little setting of um where are we again? Barn Hill. Barn Hill. <laughs> People doing yoga over there. If I knew that, I would have bought my mat. Nice little bush setting. We're out in the back though in the overflow because we don't really need power. Let's go get my vanilla slice green. Okay. Let's go get it. Actually, okay. I just want to show the, <laughs> the view out here. Pretty specky, isn't it? Nice station stay, actually. It's good, eh? Alrighty, can't go past the bakery. Can't go past it. Somebody's gone to Bim Barnhill yeah. Station and bakes her own bread. And makes it's own, not gluten free. Makes her own vanilla slice. Six months. Yay! That's terrible. I hate that. <laughs>